Did you know that making a stone axe in the wild is not only simple, but can help you in dire situations when you're left empty-handed in the wilderness? Whether you find yourself in a survival situation or simply want to connect with ancient crafting techniques, mastering the creation of a stone axe can be a rewarding skill. So today, Nautical Outdoors will give you an explanation on the process of how to do so. Now let's get started. First, embark on the quest for the perfect stone. Look for a dense hard rock such as flint, obsidian, or quartzite. These materials are renowned for their ability to hold a sharp edge and withstand the force of chopping. The ideal shape is somewhat flat and oval, roughly the size of your palm. Next, focus on finding the right wood for the handle. Hardwoods like hickory, ash, or oak make the best choices due to their strength and durability. Select a straight branch about an arm's length and two inches in diameter. This will ensure a comfortable grip and adequate leverage. Now, shape the stone. If the stone isn't naturally sharp, you'll need to chip it into shape using another rock. Strike the edge of your chosen stone with a harder stone, known as a hammer stone, aiming to flake off small pieces and create a sharp edge. This technique, called napping, requires patience and a steady hand. Always wear eye protection to guard against flying shards. Once your stone is shaped, it's time to attach it to the handle. First, split one end of your wooden handle about three to four inches down the middle using a smaller stone or another sharp tool. Carefully insert the stone blade into this split. To secure it, gather strong, flexible materials like plant fibers or leather strips. Wrap these tightly around the top of the handle where the stone is inserted, ensuring the blade is firmly held in place. Finally, test the security of the stone in the handle by gently swinging the axe. Make any necessary adjustments to the tightness of your bindings. In summary, making a stone axe involves selecting the right stone and wood, shaping the stone through napping, and assembling the axe with secure bindings. Practice this craft safely and respect the tools and techniques that have supported survival and craftsmanship for millennia. Remember, the more you practice, the more skilled you'll become in this ancient art. Happy crafting!